I'm not a vampire, not an alien. I'm not the fucking mummy. I'm a goblin. Greetings, Goblin Nation. Welcome to my review of Clown. I mean, this uh, apparently this movie has been last year. It feels like a 2005 movie. Those kind of movies. It's not bad, you know. Not the baddest movie I ever kind of I have some issues with it but in general it's kind of bad so it all begins where I hate it of course it's kind of bad so uh, well actually it doesn't begin where it first we get the backstory of this uh, uh, carnival the carnival and uh, this carnival was in town in this west corner of town 20 years ago it's fun uh, this kind of all a whole family that's living there and everybody kind of hates it. I don't know why, uh, but a lot of people hate this carnival. I mean, it's this one family kind of thing carnival. Ah, either the family is messed up or or the people are messed up. Either way, something goes terrible wrong, like really wrong and. But really wrong, I mean, the, the the town starts killing them. Every single one of them is like, what the hell? What the hell are you doing? Why shoot them? Oh my god, they killed them! Oh! Everybody dies. Only one survived. And that's the one that we follow. This kid follows. And of course, uh, uh, he has to, uh, later we find out why he is kind of like, or how, why he is like this and why he sticks around the tape uh, one of the tapes that we later find out is uh, his mother says you are the kind of thing this is in the family you uh, the show even when I'm dead the show must go on and that's like all right there is your reason for why he's still around and uh, uh, the reason he's messed up is because the whole town kind of uh, tries to kill the whole family. Everybody dies except him. So yeah, that kind of messed him up. And he is not a happy clown. He's not a happy clown. He's a sad clown. A very sad clown. And I felt like I could have done that better. But I kind of get it because he's sad so he doesn't talk much. But I kind of like lots of lines I could use. Like there you could have used this line there. And he is also the one that I think animated, uh, uh, voiced everything. Uh, he doesn't talk much, uh, kind of thing. Either way. So then there, uh, we come on that point what I kind of didn't like. The, so this whole bunch of uh, kids, teenagers with phones and everything, uh, go, uh, go and thing. One person needs to get a leap. Get, uh, needs to go to the toilet kind of thing, he needs to go to, and instead, uh, I don't know why, are people, teenagers now, this stupid, is this, this kind of things, I don't think so, I don't think so, but you know, apparently this guy is, and he needs to go lick, but instead of like, yeah, I'm gonna go to, oh, let's explore something, I, I think I see, it, uh, there is down over there, that's off the map, but this kind of thing, we should ch uh, kind of thing, or I see there a carnival. No, it's, uh, he's, uh, has to go a leak. He just goes, walks away. It's like, you're all, your friends are there. And you just walk, start to doing pictures on Instagram. So your friends see this kind of thing. And he starts just walking off. It's like, what the, f what the hell? Is he trying to find the toilet? Is that why? Or is it just him going nuts? Because even when he finds the town, he starts so looking around. It's like, your friends are over there. Go at least go. To, it's like, dude, you have to check this out. You have to check this town out. You know? No, he just looks around, kind of thing. It's just okay. Look, picture. Okay, look, kind of thing. He goes in this a uh, fun house. It's great fun house. And then he gets knocked out by a clown. I'm like, finally, he's dead. He's not dead, but I thought on the moment, he's dead. And uh, I really, really didn't like the way they find this uh, fun house kind of thing. I didn't like because this guy and a whole bunch. It's not like, oh, there is only two people. Oh, there is only three. No, there are six or something like that. 
six people that want to go to a music festival or something. <laughs> and then it didn't work out well, is it? Oh yeah, the whole fucking day, the whole people, all the six, or whatever. They all are there. They are all kind of trying to find now him. It's like, this is the b biggest toilet break he ever done. It's like, you, by now you know he's not doing that. Yeah, he doesn't... Apparently he doesn't care anymore about the festival. Apparently he's like, I just gonna go out. I just... That kind of thing. It's like, he's weird. And I don't mean weird like, he's a kind of a weirdo in the head kind of thing. Yeah, uh, or he is a stupid... Uh, he's very stupid. He is like... It doesn't make any fucking sense why he's doing this, but apparently he's doing this anyway. So he goes to there and uh, he goes all the way. Uh, well, he was fun house, then the friends show up, like we have to find him. They go in the fun house. And they kind of first they're like, okay, we're gonna do this is creepy fun house. I'm like, hey, I've been in a fun house like this. Hey, I've been in a fun house. It was not that creepy, but it had lots of the same things going on. This is pushed to an extreme because, you know, there is a psycho clown in there. And not a good kind of psycho, silence kind of psycho. I like loud uh, kind of psycho. He made me kind of think about M uh, Michael Myers from Halloween uh, on some points because he has this mask that probably was made uh, of, uh, of her. Her, her mother's face, I don't know, but it's like wo he's worshipping that. It's like uh, if you've played Friday the 13th kind of game uh, or seen uh, Friday the 13th uh, uh, part 2, that's like that. The hat kind of thing, the hair and the math, uh, he's worshipping that kind of thing, like his mother kind of thing. Anyway, so. Then, uh, after a while, they start to like, we cannot go back, how the hell do we go back? Like, we've already been here. And then the clowns start happening, uh, shifting all the things, so they don't really know where the hell to go. Then they, he picks them one by one. Some he kills, some he doesn't kill. Uh, kind of thing, he uh, kidnaps uh, the tough guy, the guy kind of thing that wants to find his butt. Uh, it's kind of like okay, he doesn't do a kind of thing. Yeah, uh, he kidnaps three of the the sisters, like ah kind of thing. Uh, and it's like you can help him, kind of thing. You have to move around, uh, move faster, uh, kind of thing. So you're like move faster. It's like I cannot move faster, like you literally see my bones, kind of thing. And uh, those two is like he has a weird voice. This one guy is like he's very, uh, very big. Uh, but he's also very whiny voice, like really whiny voice. I'm like, seriously, this guy gets a role, and I'm still not getting a role. I want to have be in movie, but maybe you need to first apply for that. It's like my appliances, oh no, and my whole YouTube channel. I mean, come on, <laughs> I apply. Look at me, I'm a clown. I'm a juggalo. I have lots of. And I can even write, I mean, I cannot write, I'm bad at writing, but I have ideas, I have ideas for whole stories, I mean, imagine a Juggalo that thought he would fit in uh, with Juggalos and Juggalettes, and then he did, but he went to an extreme, and uh, he snapped, you know, he snapped with Jala, he did the things extremely, and made a whole circus about it. Kind of thing. I actually thought that would be a cool idea, you know, a juggalo kind of thing. Uh, having his own amusement park that's kind of banned and have a, a, a being to an extreme. To have literally still have the juggalo but to an extreme. Uh, anyway, not uh, it's not about my movie we're talking about that doesn't exist. If anybody can do movies, uh, directing kind of thing, uh, just needs an ID. I'm your ID guy! Or maybe, maybe even in the, the actor of the day, I don't know, maybe, you know. That's a little kind of awesome. Run away. What movie? Oh, yes. A uh, kind of thing is like one for one we can pick. One for some die, some get get kidnapped, till there is three remain. Then uh, the show must go on. Show must. Well, there is one, you know, the tough guy. That's actually the only one that doesn't get hit. That's good. There's also this one part where this chap, uh, this girl is like having those dolls and it's like, oh, this is cute. 
mama. But does uh, relatively sounds like the guy trying to min mimic uh, all everything, and he's very bad at it. It's like mama, mama, like I got it, and. The girls are like, oh, this is cute. Maybe she needs a little trust after having been haunted. It's like, I need a, I need a hug. And then the baby doll bites. <laughs> and then all the baby doll bite because he has these things that can do this. And they all bite. All of them bite and bite. Till she can oh, uh, eventually get out of there. It's like, ah, fuck, God, oh. I would uh, but of course there were a lot, so like, I, I, I'm saying, like, I would fucking nail them all to a gun, like, fuck this, like, uh, keep them away, but there are a lot, so it's hard to keep them all at bay, it's like, ah, ah, oh, fuck, oh my god, this, oh, fuck, anyway, so, she gets out of there, a little bit of her, she go, and then the guy still trying to find her way, there is then this one girl that's like, sit, Still trying to find her sister, that's also the color. My sister! Nah, she finally gets kidnapped. And finds her sister. Because that's a, also the guy, the beginning guy, he apparently is still alive. I'm like, seriously? The guy that made all this mess for no good reason. It's like Child's Play all over again. But Child's Play was a reboot that was badly done. This one was, you know, you don't have anything else. To go back to for for referencing because there's just a reason like the reason Ch Chucky's play and the reason this guy found the fun house those are two uh, two fucking things that are very stupid in this movie anyway of course Charles play has a lot more issues than this kind of, this kind of thing uh, yeah so uh, so the clown the clown gets kind of a uh, uh, like here is the show, here is the show, and the show must go on. And it's like if they, well, we find out what's happened to the guy, to one of the guys. Popcorn in his mouth and fired up and start popping. Well, <laughs> right in his mouth. So yeah, uh, he's dead. And then eventually, like I need a full trigger, and it burned. And but the guy, the smart guy, is like, okay, I got this. I got a mask. That's a very weird mask of his mother. I got, uh, I, I got, I got that tape about kind of thing. So he treats the tape in here, and then the swear the psycho clown is like, <gasps> like uh, he sees it. He goes back to the war. Everything is like, uh, uh, uh. Try to check what is gone. Okay, that's that's gone. And then they have to run, run away. Kind of thing. But the guy, the big guy. And probably, you know, no guy that, that I don't like. Uh, those two is like, we gonna we gonna make sure that uh, if I, like, should at least not one of you stay with the girls. Literally two girls. That, sure, if it works, uh, the clown is gonna be with you. But if it does work, the clown is gonna be with the girls. And nobody can defend it, even though they don't have a chance at all. Like, they don't have weapons, they don't count any. The clown comes, nails them all to the ground. And has the hammer and BAM! The annoying guy that I, I think is annoying because, you know, the reason this all happened. Uh, dies! And I'm like, alright, he's dead. Uh, his brother he doesn't die and, and he's still alive. Like, no! Like that. Then he goes like and traps the. Everything is burning because somehow, uh, somewhere, uh, he starts uh, he starts to fire. Because remember when the, the, he needed a volunteer that I say? Yeah, that was when the fire, but now it, the fire came out of hands because he got kind of scared. And now the whole place is burning down. And then the tough guy is like, you know what? I cannot go anywhere. It's like, mommy needs your help. It's like, did you just put a mask on for no reason? I thought this was would be like Jason for his kind of thing. Like, do a mask and he's gonna think you're, you're the mother kind of thing. No, he just puts the mask on, locks it, it a mean, in a, a cage and the whole thing burns out. Only the sisters are the only survivor the whole born time. And that's pretty much the end. They survived this kind of thing and I'm like Okay, it's a fine movie. I give it a uh, 7.9. Almost an 8, but I don't wanna give it an 8 because the first thing is a little bit kind of thing. But and I also think the silence clown was a little bit I felt like oh here you could have said that. 
Oh, and here, this clown could have... Uh, but I get it, because he's more a sad clown than a happy clown over a uh, psychopathic kind of clown. The clown I don't like to be. Like, hey, now we burn the devil! And now you see them here. Like, uh, when he shows, like, now you, it's gonna be, we're gonna make popcorn in his mouth. And like, and it goes, pop, 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 That was what I was like. And then the next one, I'm gonna need a volunteer. Because it's all in a tape kind of thing, we need a volunteer. Uh, he, he forced kind of thing. I would be like, you're gonna be the volunteer, all right. As like a kind of thing, tied up, and now like Prometheus, you we give fire, we gonna give this fire. Fire! You're on fire! And then it's like, uh, no, no, on fire. This girl is on fire! This girl is on fire! And then they burn. And kind of, no, that would be kind of thing. I would go over the top, uh, clown kind of thing. I would go every time. Uh, I would kind of thing. And I would always like when I kind of when they locked it, like I would be like, like, oh, here, here is my kind of thing, and now the, the doors are closing, kind of thing, and trade, and like, and there we go again, change, I can change, I can change it from left to right to left, kind of thing. Uh, I would be way more noisy, way more talk, well, kind of thing. Anyway. So what's your thoughts about clown? I think it's a 7.9. It's not an 8, but also not a 7. I felt like it's also not 7.5. It's a little bit better than a half. So we're going for 7 and 9. So what's your thoughts about it? Do you guys are like, hey, that's, that's stupid. How? Just give it an 8 or just give it to 7. I'm like, but I don't like it so much as that movie that I gave an 8. But I don't hate it so much as the movie I gave a 7. Like a four, so I and I don't hate it so much as a seven and a half that I give it another movie. I think it was Portals that I give it a seven and a half or a six. I'm not sure how much I gave for the, but it's a little bit better than that for me personally. That's me personally. Could be because there is just a cloud. I always love clowns. Kind of. I mean, they're awesome. Juggalo clowns are the best. Also, my mask doesn't look so cool. I mean, it looks cool, but I feel like I need my hair a little bit darker. Only works in the dark. Anyway, anyway, I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna end it here. Uh, it was a fine seven point nine seven. Did I say nine or seven? The last one. Huh, seven point nine. Anyway, it was uh, enough enjoyable. It was not a waste of for my time. That's just my personal opinion about this movie. Uh, even though the beginnings uh, and I felt like they could have talked more a little bit of it. There were some uh, issues I get, but you know, the time of every perfect movie is uh, kind of gone. Uh, maybe um, revisiting, you know, uh, Escape from New York to Escape from LA. If you guys want that movie, let me know down below. So maybe I go there because uh, the Escape from New York was 10, solid 10 from 9. Maybe I should watch another action movie from the 90s. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you guys. You juggalos and juggalots! And all goblin nation. In my next videos, goodbye! And then the days got worse and worse, and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind.